Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm going to be doing to my car. I have a 2004 Honda Civic 1.7 liter engine. Uh, since I bought the vehicle, I bought it as a project car. I got it for like $500. And one of the main issues was it was using up oil excessively. If I made a two hour trip, I would have to almost pour a whole liter in. So one of the main things I wanted to replace was the valve seals and also the piston rings. So we got piston rings and valve stem seals. The reason why I'm doing the valve stem seals is because on high mileage engines, these are pretty common to leak and that's how you burn your oil. And since I have the engine pretty much all taken apart, I decided to do my piston rings. I did measure them and they are a little bit undersized, actually quite a bit undersized. So I ordered some standard size piston rings. I also did measure the cylinders. The cylinders are still in great shape. They are still within specifications. So all I had to do was just order standard piston rings. Since I'm doing those two main things, I had to order some new head bolts. I have the connecting rods out. So I decided to replace the connecting rod bearings. I have here a head gasket, valve cover gasket set, and the oil pan gasket. When I was taking apart the vehicle, I noticed it was leaking from the oil pan. So that was also an issue. The valve cover was okay. And when I was taking off the head, I noticed it was also leaking from the head gasket. Now I wasn't burning coolant. Uh, let me show you here. Um, here are the coolant jackets on the inside. Let me just show you here on the head. So coolant jackets right here, they're on the inside. Now on the outside, right here, right here, I believe. Those are your oil journals. And oil was leaking out um, externally. It wasn't going past through into the engine coolant so i know it wasn't getting into the coolant and also i wasn't burning any coolant i know for a fact that this engine was running really good mechanically as well i probably should take this head in to get resurfaced but like i said i'm doing this on a budget and i'm trusting that it is going to be safe to just replace the head gasket and that the head is not warped and like i said i know for a fact this head is not warped because like I explained to you, I wasn't burning any coolant. The only place it was leaking was out of the sides of the head gasket. So here are the valves. I did have signs that oil was leaking through the valve seals and onto the intake and exhaust valves. Uh, the exhaust valves, this I guess this would be kind of common, but these are really carboned up. And I'm going to be cleaning those off really well. Shouldn't take too much cleaning. Um, as for the camshaft seal, I did notice it was broken and also very worn out. If you take them both and compare them, you can see on the inner circumference, the slip here on the new ring, you can see it clear on the old ring. Um, it's basically pretty much gone. And I believe that was also leaking as well. So I have a brand new camshaft seal. Um, here are some really cheap, poorly made valve spring compressors. Um, this tip here actually broke off. Um, I was kind of having trouble using this. It's very flimsy. Um, it was also very hard, time consuming to get the valves off. Here are some other tools that I have to do the job. I have my vernier calipers here, digital vernier calipers. Like I said, I'm doing this rebuild on a budget. Um, when I inspected and measured the cylinders, they are perfectly fine and still within specifications. So what I did was just bought a cylinder honing tool. The reason for it is just to kind of deglaze the surface and also give it a cross hatch pattern. So the new rings can have something to wear into and kind of properly seal. I'm not sure if I'm even explaining that right, but you kind of get the point. I have piston ring installers. Sorry, not piston ring installers, piston ring compressor to install back into the head. Piston ring pliers. I didn't really need these. There is a little trick you can do to installing piston rings onto the piston which i probably would have just about not even need these um i got some t gauges uh these are what i use to measure my cylinders um since i have a really cheap set of valve spring compressors i bought these ones these here are designed much different Use in conjunction with compressed air adapter to replace valve springs and seals without removing the cylinder head i also have here a quarter and a three-eighths 
torque wrench and I also have a half inch torque wrench but I probably just about won't even need it. Here are the pistons, a little bit of carbon happening here. Um, I will take some carb cleaner or some kind of solvent to try clean these off as well. Uh, here's the camshaft and the bearing caps. Here is my engine timing cover, the lower timing cover. This is actually pretty common. I've seen other builds where this is usually worn out. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be reusing this. So I went and bought a new one, ordered one online. Comes with a brand new gasket on it as well. Uh, here are the coils and here is the rocker arm assembly. Here are my spark plugs. I got parts laying all over the place. Here is my um, here's my camshaft sprocket. Uh, these here I will be reusing because these are I just replaced these and I didn't put too many miles into the vehicle. Here are some other parts. Uh, valve cover here at the bottom. Um, we have the inspection plate there. Here's the oil pan. Um, I think I basically covered everything for now, what I'm going to be doing. I will be making videos here and there and I'll be posting them. I really wish I filmed the disassembly on how to take everything apart. You know, there's other videos out there on how to do this. So if you are interested in watching more of these videos, please like and subscribe, uh, leave a like, comment, and I will see you again in another video.